In the last lesson, we learned about different post processing tools available in Discovery. In this lesson, we will perform some geometry modifications based on our findings and learn how to perform live geometry edits. Let's modify the geometry by adding veins to direct more flow towards rear vents. To model or edit any geometry features, I need some tools from the design tab. From the design tab, I am going to create a plane on the axis of this cylindrical region. Let's select the plane from the create section under the design tab. To select the axis, hover over the cylindrical surface and the axis will appear. Now let's choose the axis to place the plane on that axis. After creating the plane, click on the sketch in the mode under the design tab to activate sketching. Here I am going to make a vein design using our spline tool and then going to use the pull tool to extrude the surface to make it a solid body. You can check out our other videos on geometry to learn more about pull tool or any other tools under the design tab. For simplicity, we have already included this vein geometry as a solid body in the provided model. You can see the solid body veins in your modeling tray. After pulling the veins in both directions, you can use the automatic update volume feature to avoid manually performing the boolean operation. To do this, unhide the veins geometry by clicking on the eye icon. Next, right click on the volume and hover your mouse on volume update option. From this menu, select update volume in context. Hide the solid components to see the effect. You will notice that volume is updated without performing the boolean operation. Make sure that all the solid bodies are suppressed before hitting solve. Now that the solution is complete, let's review our saved scenes and select the streamline one. Here I can see that most of the flow is going through the veins. As we are not able to capture the thin geometry of the veins with our fidelity settings, we will fix this issue in the next section. In the next lesson, we will learn how to add local mesh refinement to capture thin components or areas in the discovery explore mode.